So, these are the new things. Nikia confirmed that there's going to be new areas in the hideout. Uh, for example, the gym is going to be a thing where you can work out and train your strength and endurance, which I think is pretty cool. And then he also said there's going to be more than just that as well. So, the gym is going to be another subcategory of the hideout, and there'll also be new things in there too. I think there might be customizable stuff in the hideout as well, which will be really cool. Um, there's going to be a proper grouping system for the game now. So, that means what that means is... Uh, when you want to go into raid, you don't have to go into a lobby to invite someone to start a raid. You're going to be able to group up inside your stash and move around and do stuff before you start a raid, which is going to make custom like squad gameplay and stuff way way easier, and it won't be as annoying to navigate through the menus, which is a huge feature. Um, armor hitboxes are not finished, but they will be finished soon. Uh, obviously, you showed the org, but it's not completely ready. The gun sounds aren't finished. I assume the scope isn't finished. But uh, the recoil looks kind of crazy on the org as well. There is also another thing which I like, but a lot of people won't like, is the repair kits and armor kits will now have a chance to buff armor and the weapons that you are using. So, for example, an armor repair kit now can like give you basically mini stats on the armor that you repair. So, for example, uh, in the in this podcast, it showed ten percent damage reduction. We don't know if it's damage reduction to the armor or damage reduction to the character in that area. So, we don't know for sure on that one. But there was also a 19% uh, horizontal recoil reduction on a buffed M4 that he did. So repair kits and armor kits now are going to probably go up in price when that's added. It's going to add a bit more of a money sink and a little bit more fun to like the game. Obviously, a lot of people won't like it because it's more RNG, but um, I, I like it personally. Um, Arena isn't finished at all, uh, but they're still working on it. That's pretty much what he said. He said their plans to make esports spectate arena. So you're going to be able to run around and like actually view it with a camera. Um, there'll be a GoPro type thing in the main game for camera footage that you can rewatch. Potentially, I don't know if that was like lost in translation with what he said, but that's what was basically said. Unconscious states are going to be pretty harsh in my opinion. Uh, he said in the podcast that if you get shot in the leg, there's a chance that you could be knocked out, which basically means like if you get shot like you are gonna like yeah and it, he also said grenades are gonna be the same as well grenades have a chance to knock you out so getting shot is gonna be very very uh bad now like really bad um obviously we don't know more about the unconscious stuff but that's what he said about that um another thing to that though uh the adrenaline stim will probably be buffed and make it so people are going to start using adrenalines now uh he said there was some functionality with adrenalines making it better for when you are like knocked out or pre pre knocked out so you can probably pre pop it so you don't get knocked out from a bullet to the leg or something like that snow and seasonal weather will be dlc after game release so i wouldn't expect that for another two years in my opinion i know that sounds like a long time but that's just my guess before everything's done uh steam audio is going to be replaced with something else a completely new audio system so rip steam audio i guess uh and hopefully the new audio system that they add is going to be better lever action guns he said were possible but they were not planned uh, well, he didn't say they were not planned, but he said they're possible. So I assume they're not planned to be added in yet. Uh, more plans for offline game modes. Nakia seemed pretty confident that he really likes the offline co-op stuff. Uh, more functionality will come with that eventually, so we'll be able to customize more games. He said he really likes the idea of co-op content and watching people do cool community stuff. So in the future, we may see a lot more co-op things for the main game, uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, M16A5, whatever it is, the burst rifle, he said that's, that's planned to come as well. They showed an SR2 Veresk in 9x21, Gairuza, I don't know how you say that. The animations are pretty cool and it looked like it had no recoil. The 12 point center revolver is still planned, but it's not finished yet, which is sad. Tequila hammer is possible as a rare melee with features. And what he means by that, I think, is you're going to be able to use the hammer to knock down doors that are locked. I assume with some sort of like usage. Um, customizable rigs of pockets are not ready and have been delayed. Boss clothing farming, which is related to like some this tweet, I think. I tweeted this a few days ago. Devs really like the idea of being able to farm boss clothing as a quest. So they said something like this is going to be in the future as well. They really like this idea. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's pretty much the podcast and all of the details in it. Uh, the SR3 is 9x39 and the SR2 is 9x21. So those two guns that they showed on the podcast are very, very cool. I'll definitely be strong.